function, we are gonna, you know, do some formulas in order to calculate a certain exact um, values um, of your body block. Okay, so how do you calculate an exact value of any point of your body block? You're gonna use a transfer function. Right, this is where the transfer function comes in. See, I crop out the wrong picture. <laughs> yeah, should be this one. Okay, as you know, this is how you derive all your formulas. I mean, your transfer function. I'll not repeat again. So, um, this is the transfer function. If you want to find a point, at any point, you want to find, um, let's say this is the frequency, you want to find minus 1, you want to find 0 0.005 frequency, okay, somewhere over here. Then what you're gonna do is actually to sub in your frequency over here, right? So let me repeat again. Okay, this equation will give you an exact value at any point of your, you know, of your body block. So this, so I would, so I would want to stress that. So if this equation comes in, this equation gonna tell you the values at this point. Okay, this, this, this. You can tell the values at this point, not this line. All right, this 3 dB gain is actually to correct your straight line thing. It's trying to smoothen the curve. So this 3 dB gain is included when you're calculating this one, and this minus 6 dB gain is included when you're calculating this one. Okay. So in order to prove that, let me show you. So let's say I want to calculate the frequency at this particular point. Okay, I sub in my frequency as 0 0.1, right? So in this case, uh, what we have is that um, equals to 10, 1 plus um, 0 0.1. The cutoff frequency at this link system is actually 0 0.1 or so, if you remember, right? It's actually at this point. This is the car frequency at the lead system. If you remember, if you watched the whole series um, previously, so this is the WC one, right? Divided by omega, which is a zero point one, <coughs> your input frequency plus zero point one divided by omega C two, which is the leg, <coughs> the the car frequency of the leg, which is yeah. So if you were to do that, um, and if I were to simplify this dude over here into these, alright, and then these, and then these, this is the final value, alright. And note that this is very, be careful that this is not your dB, okay, this is not your dB. This is just a value for a transfer function, alright. You're gonna have, you want to change to dB, okay, you have to use 20 log. The transfer function, which is 20 log 196.059. And if, if you were to do that, so you have a 20 log transfer function, which is this value. Transfer function is this value. If I were to do that, I have 45.84. Okay, 45.84 at this particular point. Okay, at this, maybe I should zoom in. It's at this particular point. Okay, it's not this point. Okay, this point is actually 45.84 minus 3. Okay, which is 42.84. Okay, 42.84, if you plus 3 dB gain, you have the exact value of your frequency at 0 0.1. So this is the exact value. Okay, so if you take in the clear room in your map lab, okay, 42.9, okay, which is, uh, on. So this is 43, alright, and then in the MATLAB it's also saying it's 43. However, so the in the MATLAB, right, the magnitude itself, I will believe they are putting, they are only, they are giving your magnitude, your game magnitude, as the same as your as your initial line, okay, as your initial plot. Okay, you didn't talk about the the 3 dB gain. Okay, so this. So this calculation, this manual calculation is gonna give you that 3 dB gain included inside over here. Alright. So this is uh, a little thing. So the MATLAB itself didn't give you that value. So
So you didn't include the plus 3 dB. So you have to include your plus 3 dB inside your own, your own thing, I would say. Yeah. And then, uh, so now let's see whether is this minus 6 decibels or not. Alright. So uh, similarly, you are going to take a frequency of 10. Okay. So previously it was 0 0.1. Now I take frequency of 10 because I want to calculate this point over here. This little point. Okay. So what I do is actually similarly using this formula. Okay, this transfer function. Okay, so I just write down. So I have um ten will multiply by one plus. Now I input a ten frequency. Okay, this is ten This is ten gain. This is ten frequency. Input frequency, and then the call frequency for your lead is actually zero by one. I've repeatedly said a lot of time. So uh, one plus ten. Now in this case, the call frequency for the lag is actually ten, right? If you remember. Yeah, yeah, you can just go back here, lah. Okay, WC1 and WC2, the values are here. So, yeah. And then if I were to do it up the, the, the math, if I were to do it in the math, I will have this is 1010, lah. Okay, so divided by 40, I'll 25 by 25. And then if I were to do 20 long, if you remember during log transfer function, you will get your overall gain is 28.04. Okay, so 28.04 is the values at this point. Alright, it's this value over here. Okay, so this value is already rectified, it's already corrected. Alright, so at this point, it's minus 6. Right, so I want to get this value over here. Right, so I have 28.045 plus 6. I'll have approximately 34 okay so if I have a check body plot in the MATLAB I'll have about 33.9 okay so the frequency is 10 so the body plot itself is, give, is giving you the values over here it's not giving you this value over here alright but nonetheless um, this is um, sufficiently enough to say that um, this is actually 6 dB la, right so um, why is it 6 dB is because um, if you remember, you have poles, right? You have two poles. You have two lagging terms, all right. So if let's say, so in this case, right? Let's say if you have a lead over here, one plus ten s. If frequency is equals to your call frequency, okay, you have a three dB, right? If it's square, you have six dB. If it's cube, you have nine dB. If it has you know four, you have twelve dB, so on and so forth, All right? If it's the denominator, one plus s over ten square. I mean, maybe it's just like that, okay? Just only like that. It's minus three dB. If it's square, it's minus six dB. I should have like one divided by that, okay? If it's cube, it's nine minus 9 dB, if it's 4, it's minus 12 dB, etc. Okay, so this is how it goes all the way. So I believe I have cleared away the gain, mar the gain oh yeah, I still got gain margin. Okay, so what is gain margin in this case? If you were to ask me what is gain margin, I would say that the gain margin is a value that is below 0. Okay, if it's below 0, okay, you have a gain margin. Okay, uh, which in this case, right, this is the zero point, right? Uh, so this is the zero point zero dB. If you have a value that is below this zero point, which these things are, these are all the gain margin. Okay, so the gain, the larger the gain margin. The safer you are from you know things like that. Uh, if you want me to calculate the frequency, I mean the frequency you can just straight away calculate using you can just straight away plug in whatever frequency that you see lah. Okay, and then if you want to calculate whether it, um the the phase margin the value right the one over lambda, <coughs> what you can do is actually I haven't tried yet but I can suggest is that you take the frequency and then you find the magnitude. If you remember, you can actually find the Nyquist spot magnitude. Okay. And then you find the magnitude already, you sub in the frequency, you'll get your 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 value, I think. 
right? You can actually calculate using the crossing the negative real axis, okay? Which is the Nyquist plot. If you remember, where's the Nyquist plot? Yeah. So you're gonna calculate this point over here, the 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 one that is crossing the. If you remember, you can just watch that watch back the video. The video is simply on. Uh, what's the name? Intersection to Nyquist plot. Okay, this is the the two videos I believe. You can just go and watch back. All right. So you can plug. So from from this Nyquist, I mean for this body plot, you can actually know your frequency. Once you know your frequency, whatever thing that is below, below this, whatever thing this is, whatever here is actually considered stable. Whatever here is considered unstable, I would believe. Okay, I may be wrong, now, Okay, so in the future, um, I'll just update. But nonetheless, this is this, and then I haven't finished yet. I have um phase margin to go. All right, and phase angle. How to plot the phase body plot. So I'll see you in the next video to plotting out the phase stuffs. Bye-bye.